Good afternoon, guys. I'm with Steve. Hey. Headed into London. We're meeting with Alan. And then we have an exciting night plan. Me and Alan are going to uh, the movie premiere of Batman vs Superman. Unfortunately, Steve forgot to RSVP, didn't he? But he's going to help us get our suits sorted and stuff. We just need to find Alan now. He said he's upstairs. <laughs> you probably freaked out. I was genuinely uh, like bro. Steve. <laughs> You're right. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> so guys, here are our tickets. Here you go, Alan. Oh, here you go, Steve. No, yeah, joking. No, nice nah, joking, nice sorry one. mate. <laughs> but um, the RSVP says we have to dress smart. Saying this isn't smart enough? Maybe not. But luckily we have the number one UK fashion I love that he's coming to male fashion vlogger. Uh, I love that he's coming to dress us up to go and he's he's cutting everything. Yeah. I'm actually getting another premiere. That's the kind of guy Steve is, he's helping us out, he's getting us we're thinking either of hiring suits or just getting some nice outfits. Yeah, that's the plan. But first maybe we should get some lunch. <laughs> We look like the boys in the in the shadow. Apart from my strange haircut. The Lego haircut. You could do that. What a beige suit. Yeah. So Steve's taking us into H&M. Trying to um, trying to figure this out. He's thinking um, he's thinking polka dot. What are you guys saying? What you said about a pick up your suit size, the first jacket I picked up. Don't worry about that. You know what I mean? Like, it's like you're trying to validate yourself. <laughs> Oi. What? Let me see. Let's stop for a sec. No, it's not. Stop. <laughs> stop for a sec. The right size. <laughs> Those socks need to. Just wait. I'm going to do a couple of things at once, bro. Guys, does Alan look a little bit like Ellen? <laughs> With that suit jacket? I think so. Just keep swimming, Alan. <laughs> I look like a page boy at a wedding. Alan is still trying to track down an all black shirt. The look he's going for is going to be completely black and with white converse. But he can't find an all black shirt. He's gone into a French connection to see if he can find one. Weirdly, Zara didn't have one. Um, not that I know anything about shops. Uh, and then I just need to get some shoes. Steve said I need to get some white high top Nike dunks. So uh, I'll have another pair of trainers. Right, we've got the shoes, we've got the shoes. I think we're all good. Just need to get to our hotel now because me and Alan are staying in town tonight. We're going to drop off our bags, get changed, and then roll to the red carpet. So we found our room. Turns out there's no ironing board or iron in our room, and we've got to get our shirts looking nice. They told me um, the, the ironing board's near the vending machine, apparently. kind of embarrassing. I think the reality is I've never had a job in my life where I've needed to iron shirts and even when I was at school I didn't bother ironing. What do you guys think? Yeah? It's looking alright. Yeah. Polka dart. Not perfectly ironed, but 
I like this white little pocket thing. Yes, Alan. I feel like it's weird. It feels weird. It does, doesn't it? Walking through London in a suit. Basically, me and Alan do not dress like this ever. No. This is like one of the only scenarios and maybe our friend's wedding. I'm quite excited about this, guys. This is my first movie premiere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a good one as well. All the actors are going to be there. What are the actors again? Um, I'm terrible with actors' names. I mean, literally, the only one I know is um, the one that's not Matt Damon. The one that, that like, what's his name? Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, that's the one. We're going to be sharing the red carpet with very important people. I don't know how we're we. We're not going to know who I don't know how are. we ended up here. <laughs> I don't know where we're supposed to walk. This way? Let's ask these guys. How do we get in? Uh, we have we have tickets. Uh, you need to walk down there. Okay. So we got in the first bit. We've been sent on a bit of a wild goose chase to get here. We probably should have uh, turned up here in uh, the car. Thank you. We're on the red carpet. We made it. Can you see any celebrities, Alan? No. I literally know no one. Oh, look, here you go. The thing is, it must be quite, uh, quite important the fact that you worked on, like you said, the Christopher Nolan trilogy. There you go, Batman Ben Affleck. And Man of Steel. Do you have to start with a blank? He's Batman, Amazon, right? Can you not help but be influenced yeah. by That's Batman. 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 He's right there, Alan. Yeah. Batman is right there. Or should I, fake Batman. Should I say Bruce Wayne? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait. We had pretty good timing. We had pretty good timing to time walking down the red carpet with the main guy. I just bumped into Alfie. Hey, mate. Yes, Alfie. Wait, Alfie, are you going into that one? Where are you going? Are you just walking around me. Oh, okay. Okay. We're being ushered in. We're being ushered in. We're trying to find our seat. What have you got there, Alan? Uh, I have a meerkat dressed as Batman. Oh, that's it. What's his name again? Is it Henry Cavill? Cavill? That's the guy. I know everything. There he is. No. There's Superman. No, not him. Yeah. The one and only Mr. Ben Affleck! Wait, we should have stayed outside, yeah. guys. It's annoying that they shut up the stairs. Thank you so much. It's so lovely. Thank you. You're the best. How are you this evening? How are you finding this amazing premiere? I am so happy to be here. Alan, do you know who that is? Not a clue. Apparently he plays Wonder Woman. I didn't know Wonder Woman was in this film. Maybe it's like a surprise thing that happens. Well, he's ruined the surprise now, isn't he? It's starting. Well, that's a pretty cool film. I like that. What did you yeah, think, Alfie? Hey, bro, you guys are in a different cinema. Did you like it? Yeah, I thought it was good. What did you think? I thought it was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was good. Right, Alfie's off. Catch in a few days. Right. Turns out they do veggie bean burgers in Burger King. So, guys, I was just about to bite into my veggie burger. Turns out it's not veggie burger. It's a it's a full on cheeseburger, a beef cheeseburger. I'm just going to return it. The only thing I can think of doing at this time of night, because it's gone 11, is um, Ronnie Scott's again. Made it to Ronnie Scott's, having some drinks with Alan. It's been, a, it's been a fun night. Uh, this has been fun. This is the first vlog that I've ever been in of yours where I've been sober. So we should probably... Yeah, yeah. You're often drunk in my vlogs. That was a great 
evening guys. Uh, we are wandering back to our hotel. We, we? No. we're trying to anyway. We literally just not. We've just walked down a weird dark back alley. <laughs> trying to get, we want to get the other side of that building. <laughs> In the jazz night, Daniel Beddingfield just got up on stage and started singing. And to start with, we were like mocking him because he was wearing pajama bottoms, <laughs> and, football uh, boots. Football boots with no laces. Football boots with no laces and fluorescent <laughs> yellow socks. And we were like, who is this guy? And then I was like, he looks like an old Daniel Beddingfield. And then it was Daniel Beddingfield. But, but I need to ask you guys, who actually knows who Daniel Beddingfield is? Because we just realized younger people might not. And if you don't, you need to get to know. You need to yeah, do your research. He's done, he's made some tunes, absolute Bang. tunes. So uh, anyway, that was a, that made my evening really. I mean, uh, the Superman and Batman thing, <laughs> nothing compared to seeing Daniel Beddingfield <laughs> shook his hand. I was actually more excited about meeting him than I was Ben Affleck, <laughs> to be honest. Well guys, it's the end of the night. Um, it was, it was kind of bizarre, but fantastic. And now uh, me and Alan are pretty much sharing a bed. We're going to be hugging tonight. Is that okay with you, Alan? Yeah, it's been. They said this was a, a like a double, like a twin room with two beds, yeah. and there is technically, but <laughs> like very technically, it's there's more two like, mattresses. Yeah, it's least. more like there's two <laughs> covers. There's two covers. Um, I don't mind. Me and Alan haven't actually caught up in ages, probably like a year and a half, something like that. Anyway, so we're actually managing to catch up, which is one of the good things about me being back in the UK. Like I keep saying. Uh, tomorrow um, I've got a few meetings in London and um, I don't know what I'm doing in the evening yet but it should be fun I'll catch you in the morning peace out, enjoy life live the adventure boom